Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me here the Master of Puppets. Today, looking at a beer I'm really damn excited about trying again. I've already had this. Uh, this is a beer by Amat Bolkut, which I haven't reviewed some stuff from it for quite a while, but it should be great to get some in my belly again, because they make some awesome beer. Now, this is the Amat Bolkut Besh 1000. I also reviewed their Besh 500, which was an American East Coast style uh, IPA, and this is also an IPA. And I really mean it when I say it, Amat probably, probably. <laughs> Amal probably makes the best uh, IPA in, De in Denmark, and it's just they're so good at it. And uh, they say, of course, thanks to everyone, and then they say that this is a American-inspired IPA that is very juicy, and um, they use hops both during the mash, the boil, and then they also dry hop it two times. So that is awesome. It's six point five percent. So actually kind of a sessionable strength um, and they brewed with Pilsner malt, M M M Munich malt, melanoidin and the hops they use are Hercules, Amarillo, Simcoe, Chinook, Citra, Mosaic, Sriracha Ace and Centennial. So uh, yeah this should be interesting, can't wait to try this one. Gonna get it cracked with my new uh, snake bite bottle opener. Isn't it cool guys? Like with real leather and stuff? Uh, but yeah. Let's get it cracked. Oh, I just cracked it and I just got a whiff of hops immediately. And this is like less than a week old. They released it last week. So you're going to see the video a little bit later, but this is super fresh. Oh man, and let's get a up close pour. I haven't done that in a long time. Man, it's just smelling up the room right now. Oh, it smells awesome. Wow. Um, nice IPA in the glass. Nice. Wow, that is so nice. Um, really uh, nice kind of hazy orange color. Nice kind of two finger white ish head. It just smells like tropical fruit in the room right now. I'm just gonna dig my nose into it. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh man. This is my kind of IPA. Wow. This can really compete with some of the crazy US ones. I really mean that, especially for a single IPA. So much tropical fruit. You definitely smell Sriracha Ace. Sriracha Ace is so distinct and easy to pick out, I think. Um, wow, it's just tropical fruit, the passion fruit juice, pineapple, papaya mangoes, so much tropical fruit. You get an underlying sweet citrus fruit, orange tangerine, but most it's just it's tropical punch ball. Wow, this might just be one of the best single IPAs, uh, aroma-wise, I've smelled from Amal Bokus. It's, it's really damn awesome. So much tropical fruit. I can smell it for days. And really nice sweetness. Man. And not even, like, not insane dankness or resin. It's just like tropical fruit punch ball. Like, oh, smells so juicy. So Ratchet Ace gives a little bit of that lemongrass kind of twang to it. Man. I'm just gonna dig in now. This smells fucking awesome. <laughs> Cheers and congrats to all my boy who's on bench. One thousand. Quite an achievement. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Wow. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had an IPA that's this fresh and this freaking tasty. Wow. That is. Wow. Mmm. That is so good. Up front, you're getting the juicy passion fruit, fruit like fruit flavor, flavors. Tropical fruit punch ball of fruit flavors. Uh, mango, papaya, passion fruit, those kind of things. A sweet mandarin orange and tangerine lingering on the back end. And then it has some real solid kick of bitterness. I actually don't know what the IBU is on this one. But it tastes kind of high. It's aftertaste is really nice. It's like lemongrassy sriracha ace with like mandarin oranges. Really, a lot of mandarin orange on the aftertaste. This is so damn awesome. Oh man, I I, I could slug this by the pint. I really hope our local bar, basement beer bar, is gonna get this on tap and not just bottles because this is so good. 
there isn't much grapefruit. There is some, I actually got the grapefruit right there, but it's mostly the tropical sweeter fruits and then like sweet uh, jammy oranges, uh, marmalade, and then on the back end you get the kind of bitter grapefruit. It's just what I want in an IPA. Super juicy without being like just juicy but with a nice bitter kick on the after uh, in the back end. But yeah, um, this gets a 96. This is probably one of the best Amabo Coos beers I've had in a long time. Uh, these are their IPAs and also one of the best IPAs I've done I think. It's fucking good. <laughs> so, great way to sell this. <laughs> I, I, the beer is so good, I can't speak English. Um, yeah, great way to celebrate Batch 1096 from you guys. If you haven't had I'm not Boy Coops beers, especially their hoppy stuff, and you live in Denmark, I don't know what you're doing. Get some I'm not stuff, uh, hoppy stuff in your life. So, yeah, guys, um, definitely let me know what you think of I'm not Boy Coops Batch 1000 if you've had it. I think it's freaking phenomenal. Uh, as always, guys, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram, and uh, yeah, I want to say cheers, enjoy this, see you guys in another video.